Damn. I'm just going to say it. Y'all got a lot noisier in the second act. We like that. You're warmed up now. You're ready now. <laughs> now, we've provided you a lot of entertainment, classic characters, sexy, ugly, a whole group of lusty vampires. You know where to sign up. Yeah. And now, what would Halloween be? Or, if you're of the pagan persuasion, Samhain, B, without a seance. Are you ready to raise the spirits into our little theater tonight? Are you sure? I don't know if you're ready because these spirits are very mischievous. They have been messing with me all night long. I got my lineup mixed up. I got confused. There, there's something definitely here in the space. To, oh, oh yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those in between, none of the above. Please give it up for the Liar's Seance. Friends, neighbors, lovers, dreamers, and enemies, you know who you are and what you did. I, somebody's smoking. I am Professor Algonquin Graver, and this is the Liar's Seance. Everything you hear tonight is a lie, including that sentence. <laughs> Actually, I have papers, but I'm not going to bring them out. Tonight, I am going to show you the occult, the hidden, the secret, and the dead. I am a master of the grand, high, wizarding, invisible college of the occult. Well, community college. But there's a lot of wisdom there anyway. And tonight, we are going to come upon the unspeakable and speak of it. We are going to find the inscrutable and screwed it. <laughs> and ultimately, we are going to approach the ineffable and F it! <laughs> All right. Where do we begin? I'm sorry, is this the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> All right. I am going to summon a spirit, an invisible spirit that will help us with the undertaking we are about to begin. All I need to have is the spell. The, um, hang on. Uh, the sail on crayons. No. As a reminder to buy salt. Ah, ah! I know a lady who'd like you. That's what is all this? All right, all right. Here it is, the summoning spell. All right, here we go. I need you all to help. I'm going to say the words and you say them back to me and I need you to do this. Woo. All right. I'll need you to keep doing that from time to time. I'll let you know. But first, the summoning. Repeat after me. Someone's been pre-gaming this show. Oa! Tagu! Sayam! Oa! Tagu! Sayam! Oa! Tagu! Sayam! All together! Oa! Tagu! Sayam! Oa! Tagu! Sayam! Oh, what a goose I am! Oh, 101 joke spells. 
shit. Okay, all right, all right. We'll try something else. I've got the name of a demon here somewhere, and I'm told, apologies to whoever's cleaning up. Um, ah, here it is. Here it is. The strange guy I met in the dormitories last night gave me this. All right, you know if you know the name of a demon, you can control it. So I have the name of a demon right here. And we are going to summon the demon. But we have to stay safe, don't we? How do you contain a demon? Condoms? No. Were they? Show off. With a circle of what? I got, the, I got this from the cafeteria. It'll have to do. All right. Here we go. Winter shins. Woo! There's some pepper in there. Yeah. All right. It's okay. Now we'll be safe. I'm going to call the demon's name. And you repeat after me. It's not a joke this time. Remember what the show is. The demon's name is Lars. Four H's. You've got to pronounce them all. All right. At this, this empty circle of salt, we will now summon the demon Lars. Again with the wiggly fingers. Lars. Lars! 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 A demon is revealed! Now, now this is an invisible helper spirit, and I know you can't see it. Some of the cameras that are trained upon us have night vision settings. So they can probably see the spirit Larsh. <laughs> spirit Larsh is a strange one, can appear in many, many forms, sometimes simply as a little light, sometimes as a beast. <laughs> Always graceful. Larsh, Larsh, invisible demon Larsh. Reveal yourselves to these people. Re uh, yeah! <laughs> Lars, I apologize, friends, for the hideous manifestation that is Lars. <laughs> hey, call back. <laughs> all right, all right. I need. It's an adult show. All right, I need you to demonstrate your unholy powers. Do something spooky for us. How do you get out of the circle of salt? Shit. Ooh. Are you impressed yet? No, they're not impressed yet. Spookier! That's, uh, clearly need a higher quality of salt. That's spookier. That's spookier. Are you impressed yet? About half of them are impressed. Can we do more? Who got this audience? <laughs> Whose fault? It's your fault. Right there. See, none of the people watching from home. Did you know that there are people watching from home? This is being live streamed around the world. None of them are giving me any sass. Yeah. Blow your ass. Oh, oh. I brought my drum. Me did. They broke their drum. Only an inhuman demon could have such 
an utterly perfect lack of rhythm. <laughs> Larsh, we're going to do what we do best. It's time to get on with the seance part. All right. First thing we need is someone from the audience, not you. Someone from the audience that has a spirit that wants to speak to them. There's a spirit in the room whispering a name in my ear. Something celestial. Something aerial. No, no. Wind? No, no. I've got a spirit whispering in my ear. Sky, it was going to be you, but apparently it's this person. All right. Thank you, this person. Um, I would just like to take a minute and just notice this guy right here. It's, uh, it's uh, um, Houston Strengths. Houston Strengths, everybody. H Houston Strengths. Not at all Austin Powers. Oh, I get it. The demon of bad jokes. <laughs> All right. What is your name, fishbowl lady? Hillary. Hillary, the fishbowl lady. Let's hear it for Hillary. <laughs> Hillary is here to help us. All right, Hillary. Normally I have a chair and a table and a crystal ball, but we have very little time for set design today. No. <laughs> they signed the petition. I need you to face forward, stand comfortably, close your eyes. I'm going to read your aura. Give me some spooky ooh. All right. All right, Hillary, I'm sensing, I'm sensing you're being cursed by another being. Uh, the, the cursed, I'm pulling the curse out of your aura. It's, it's a being of of trash. You're being cursed by a being of trash. You're being pers cursed by... I'm ah, ah, ah. Now you are the one who is cursed. Yes, do my bidding. Yes, do a dance. Yes. All right. Count to 12 with your feet. Yeah, don't do that. I'm bad at math. All right. Careful with his pecker like that guy shouted. Yeah. No, he's coming back. No. Ah, oh, darn it. This always happens. I've defeated your curse, Hillary. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a seat. Hey, Hillary, how's your Klingon? He's not a dad. He doesn't get to make a No, No answer? That's rude. All right. Uh, our time is done. They gave us a strict time limit. We needed a tight 10. We settled for a sloppy 6. <laughs> so it's time for us to depart. Now we have to dismiss Larsh back to the spirit realms. Once again, give me ooh. Woo! Depart! Woo! Depart! Woo! Back to hell from whence you came! Woo! Woo! Oh. Woo! 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 This isn't going to work. Woo! 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 He's gone! You are all safe once again. Now, one final word on my way out. No one ever tips the seance. And I think that's a damn shame. You got one. But yes, please, please, tip our doctor. I'm so glad he removed your curse, Hillary. Well, I knew it since the moment you walked in. This is why we hired them. You're healed, nurse. Nurse, can you confirm that she is healed? Is she in fact healed? You go check, go check. 
especially while they're cleaning. Let's, let's have a moment here. Let's have a moment, nurse. Two fingers. Hillary, Hillary, come here. Come here. It's a little crowded back there. Come here, nurse. We're going to confirm. We're going to confirm. Oh, this velvet suit, though. <laughs> we have to know whether or not our seance actually worked. Medical professional. Thank you. Confirmed. The seance worked. Listen, I knew you were a nurse, but I did not know you were a naughty nurse. <laughs> I see you much clearer now, madam.